Hey guys, Thunderset here, and I'm bringing you a new deck I was actually really excited to get to, and that's Fortune Fairies. So we have a new Carly Carmine event. That gives us a new Fortune Fairy, one we were really, really missing. It's an ultra rare. Fortune Fairy Sweet. When, this when you draw this card, like all Fortune Fairies, you can reveal it, special summon it from your hand, and then they all have their own unique effect. So what does Sweet do? Why is she so good? She's level 4 water. If this card is special summon from the hand, you can target one face-up monster on the field, banish it until the standby phase of your next turn. So, good instance of monster removal for at least a turn and a half, and it works out pretty well with this deck, obviously, that already had means to use her effect in consistent ways, because we have seen Fortune Fairies before, so with some older cards we're still using, we're using in, when you draw this card, reveal a special summon it, she gets to target one set card, destroy it, can be a monster, can be a spell, also very strong. So banish a monster, hit a face down, hit a face down monster. We also have Hikari. Hikari will let you send herself to the graveyard and special summon another level 1 monster. Doesn't sound like the greatest, or has to be a level 1 spellcaster. Doesn't sound like the greatest effect, but we use it in combination with Mystic Piper. What Mystic Piper does is you tribute this card and uh, you draw one card and if it's a level one monster you get to draw another card so you get your Hikari, you draw her, special summon her, send her to the graveyard tribute your Mystic Piper, send him into the graveyard, draw another card all of this while filling up your graveyard with spellcasters for some Magilized Fusion but uh, we're also using Fairy Chi, she can't normal summon, she's level six but she'll give you and your opponent a uh, plus one when she special summons. Works out pretty well for you for Quintet plays, which is why we're using all these spellcasters. Get them into the graveyard for a Magilized Fusion. We're also using Synchro plays, guys. We have Witch of the Black Rose here. It's a level four tuner. Has an effect that works fantastic with this deck. When this card is normal summoned, while you control no cards, draw one card, reveal it. If the card you drew is not a monster, send it to the graveyard and destroy it. So we're using mostly monsters. We only have five spell or trap. We really don't have a problem with that effect. And when you draw into these monsters, guys, they special summon. So you normal summon your level four tuner, special summon, let's say a fairy Een. You hit a back row, you have a level six synchro, or you special summon your Sui. You hit a monster, now you have a scrap dragon. It just works out so great. We have Wonder Wand, who will send our spellcaster to the graveyard to draw two, and it will trigger an effect of a Drew Fortune Fairy, so it works out great for this deck. Gets you up to those quintets. We're using one Miracle Stone, which will let you draw a card whenever one of your Fortune Fairies are involved in an attack, and it will raise your monsters by 500 for each uh, Fortune Fairy you have on the field. Very strong card. And we only run one because we can get to it very quickly with Lucky Stones. What Lucky Stones does is let you play this from your deck on the turn that you special summoned a Fortune Fairy. So it works out really well. This deck's so fast and smooth, guys. You're drawing a lot. It's almost like a solitaire deck because you're just getting to Quintets and Scrap Dragons and great stuff like that. But it's super fun. I actually really like Fortune Fairies. I've made a few videos for them before. And I might make another after this with more Fortune Fairy skills. So who knows? We'll see. I'll uh, get the extra deck up there for the replays. And thanks for watching, guys. Alright, here's Taya. That new Taya. Going second. No saver map for our boy. We're repping his own character on our mat. She showed us grit, guys. That means we gotta get past grit. Witchcrafters. Grit Witchcrafters. You believe what you're seeing right now? So he gets a beret. Vittori gives him a search and a toss of another spell that's gonna give him all these spells back to his hands. I'm sure you know what Witchcrafters do by now, but we're gonna show him the real spellcasters. So we're gonna normal summon our Een, use our Wonder Wand, activate. That's drawing two, but guess what? We get a special summon that Chi. We could have saved it for a Black Rose play, but Chi will protect our life points, obviously. Guess what? Here comes Sui now. Top deck from that Chi draw. Threaten that monster. He has to use his effect negation. We get to use Lucky Stones. Activate it. Sit on our field. Should be pretty safe. 
from the low win con witchcrafters. So he sets another monster, just adds spells to his hand, didn't really have anything else much to do from there. We get a Mystic Piper, always so tempting to play the Mystic Piper, but look at this for Ray. He already uses his effect to negate our effects. Foolish, foolish move, because now we get a free Scrap Dragon. Scrap Dragon's going to pop the Chi and the Veray, and then swing at his monster. Now we've broken his field, he only has three cards. He uses his Pitori to make sure those three cards are the one. Now he's using his Holiday to bring his Veray right back, using those end phase adds, probably feeling pretty good about himself. But we have multiple plays, we're going to use our Scrap Dragon immediately, so he has to negate our effect to prevent our destruction, to prevent his destruction. So he's probably pretty happy about that, but wait, we have Mystic Piper, he's going to let us draw one, that's another Black Rose, but more importantly, that's enough Spellcasters in there. We banish him, guys, that might even be a pop if my eyes don't deceive me, so here's the Quintet. It is in fact a pop, we pop the Veray. Break the Grit with a pure 4500, finish him off with the Scrap Dragon. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here's the Sartorius. We're going second. We do not want to go second versus Sartorius, especially the Masters of Destinies, because they just run a bunch of counter traps and they just set a bunch of counter traps on you. But thankfully, our opponent only sets a monster, so we really only have to watch out for Desperado. Here we're gonna special summon a Sui, we can't banish anything, but it triggers our Lucky Stones for Miracle Stone. That lets us normal summon our Tuner, 8, or sorry, 4 plus 4 is 8, that's a Scrap Dragon. Look what we got on the field, guys. A perfect excuse to destroy a face down Dark Machine, that means no Desperado Barrel Dragon for our boy. Here he's gonna normal summon. A Black Salvo, very good card. Special summons his Twin Barrel Dragon. His effect is negated though by the Black Salvo. That's not why he special summoned him to begin with. Now he gets the old boy Samurai Destroyer with a Power of the Guardians. Can you believe this mad lad? So he attacks our poor little Scrap Dragon, swings over him with 3100. How are we supposed to get rid of such a sticky monster, guys? All you gotta do is top deck a Sweet. Top deck Sweet. We don't care about Power of the Guardians, we're gonna banish his poor little Samurai Destroyer. His effect will let him special summon a machine, even when he's removed from the field, just banished. Which lets him destroy our Sui, but we're not too worried as we set our E'en, and we're just getting more spellcasters into our graveyard. So our opponent sets on us too, he really wants us to bring out a Desperado. We get a Chi though, Chi's gonna let us get a special summon, we even get a little a mini mini cutscene. We plus one a Wonder Wand. Now during our standby phase, he gets the Samurai Destroyer back, but we're not really tripping about that. Because we're going to banish him again. We get our Sui out. Banish that boy. We already have Magicalized Fusion. That's another Black Salvo for him. But here comes the Magicalized Fusion, guys. We don't even have to use the Sui on the field. We use two other Suis, so we're not going to get an all white. But we don't need an all white. We're gonna destroy this Black Salvo. Even bringing out Desperado Barrel Dragon, Quintet Magician just laughs at him. There's probably really no way this boy could have got over this Quintet. Maybe with a Synchro play, but uh, we'll have to see. So here he brings out Necro Valley. Too little, too late. Uh, just a little faster on that, and he would have had it. Tries to target us, but uh, realizes it will not work. We top deck and Ean. Which is going to let us destroy that face down monster, so that is something. Turned out to be a, uh, what is that? Oh, it's a coin monster. Something during damage calculation. So we bring back the Samurai Destroyer, but he destroys his own Samurai Destroyer with his Desperado. So we swing into that Desperado, taking forever when, like I said, this guy probably really doesn't have an out. Still setting two bodies of monsters on us, trying to destroy us, but it will never work. Now he goes Cup of Ace, but he's already blown through all his coin flips, so that gives us a plus two, giving us a uh, tuner. So we're going to start by setting our in, not even make him want to hit our uh, 
tuner until we are ready to do our synchros. He's really just stalling for time here. One more draw. So that's a monster, and we should have no problem finishing him here with a synchro play. Normal summon, our black rose. Flip up the Ean. Synchro into our Bryonic. Throw away two. Throw away three. Look at that. Got rid of Necro Valley two, no less. And just flex on him with another Magilized Fusion, just because. This one we probably could have got an all wipe, but clearly we don't need it. It is good to have all these bodies on the field because we saw he did have a Temperance and stuff to stop damage, but we were swinging right through him. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are versus an Arcana. We're going second. Looks like our boy's got more than 20 cards over there. He's rocking a full 30 with Spell Specialist. Let's see what he's got for us. So we already have a Wonder Wand. That means only four spell cards left in our deck, which means our Black Rose is a pretty safe play. Here we get to normal summon our, or sorry, special summon our Sui. Now remember, you have to have no cards when you do your Black Rose. So we're gonna have to Wonder Wand our Sui first, which is a plus two, works out fantastically. Now we're gonna special summon our N and can hit that face down monster now, guys. So we hit that face down monster. Zarika, what a card to hit. Now we can just normal summon our Black Rose. We get to play our Miracle Stone. That's going to buff up our Black Rose by 500. So we're not even going to do the Synchro of a Bionic Dragon because it'd really just be a monster with 100 more attack and we'd lose our Miracle Stone defense. So here our boy's using Solar Recharge. He's Light Sworn doing all that shenanigans. Dumps a Kite Roy. Tries to swing into our Ean. That gives us another Black Rose plus one. Now we have our Magilized Fusion, we just gotta get some monsters in that graveyard. We normal summon another in that synchros into a level 6. We got Coral Dragon, guys. Throw away another Spellcaster. Destroy his Light Sword. Now we go straight into a Quintet. We used two in, so we weren't gonna do an all wipe anyway. So it's good we did that destruction beforehand. Here our opponent hits our one boy with a Kiteroid. And our second boy with a second Kiteroid. But as you know, Kiteroid's limited to two, so he's really got to make a play. And remember, Quintet can't be destroyed by Judgment Dragon. He can't be really touched by anything he could really make. Maybe Michael would be able to come and banish him. That'd be pretty useful. But uh, he targets a Lila and then uh, scoops. Great, great stuff, guys. Okay, here's Yami Merrick. We're going second. He's using some Kaiba action over there. He is, in fact, Shadow Games. So we get three of a kind of our Ean versus a deck that you know is going to set cards because it's Shadow Games. So we're starting at a huge disadvantage. Don't don't let me fool you. Here we get our Hikari top deck. That means Hikari sends herself to the graveyard, brings out our Mystic Piper. Mystic Piper sends himself to the graveyard. We get a plus one. Guess what we plus one into? Our Wonder Wand. So we get a player Miracle Stone. Normal summon our Fortune Fairy Ean, because remember that Hikari was a special summon, so we didn't burn our normal summon. We get to Wonder Wand the Ean, that's another plus two, guys. We don't get anything that can special summon, but we get a tuner, and we get another Mystic Piper, so things are going well. Here our boy uh, Rainbow Life's an invocation, pretty weird play. And then flips up some Submarine Roids to hit us, down to 2k, but we're not too worried about it even with Shadow Games, because we're really filling up that graveyard. We're down to nine cards, and we get to top deck. So we go Mystic Piper, that lets us top deck a Sui. When drawing that Sui, we get a special summon. That's gonna let us banish one of these submarine roids. Now we get to Wonder Wand, our girl. That's another plus two, guys. Only six cards left in our deck, so of course we get our Magicalized Fusion. We get to special summon another Hikari, just to get another spellcaster on that field. And then we were going to Magilize Fusion, but our opponent wanted none of that. We probably didn't have a wipe too. We probably had to use two of the same spellcasters. So we may have preemptively scooped, but uh, we we're coming at him anyway. Great, great stuff, guys. All right, here's Bandy Keith. We're going second. He's trying to rank up in Japanese. Using 22 cards over there. Looks like we have a Black Rose play. Our boy's starting with the Lila. Mills a Desperado. Search is a Temperance. Weird deck. Also has a face down. 
let's see what that means for us. Here we top deck an Ian, guys. That means we're gonna hit that face down with the special summon. Pop it. It's a Super Team Buddy Force Unite, though, so he's gonna get it right back. And now we can use our Wonder Wand before we want to use our Witch of the Black Rose. Oh, should not have used Lucky Stones because that will stop uh, the Witch plays. So we play our Stone, Normal Summon our Witch. Now we're gonna Wonder Wand her. Top deck our Swee, guys. Here comes Swee. She will have some attack points thanks to Miracle Stone, so we banish the Lila. We're spellcasters, so he could have he can Super Team Buddy Force off our own monsters. Top decks doesn't really do a thing. Sweet so brings that Lila right back. We normal summon our Mystic Piper. Top deck into another Mystic Piper, which lets us draw into an Ean. And even in that extra draw, we're able to special summon our Ean. Destroy that Super Team Buddy Force Unite. This time he's gonna chain it. Brings out his Lumina, but we have a Magilized Fusion waiting for him. Here's the Quintet. No wipe. Oftentimes you're not gonna get a lot of uh, Quintet wipes. You can get to Quintet super quick, but you're just not getting a lot of wipes because we don't use a high variety of spellcasters. We we have three copies of the ones we like, like Black Rose and Swee and the action ones, just like this. So, Quintet's not always wiping the field, but he's always with you, so uh, that's all you need. Here we get to normal summon our Black Rose after we special summon that Swee. Now check this play out, guys. Did you know you can still target your Quintet, but he can't be destroyed, so you can do it with your own Scrap Dragon. Gives you a free instance of destruction on your enemy. We killed a World Legacy Clash, very strong card. Hit him for 2800. He's super duper low. He's using Oak Curse. Brings out the symbol skeleton and sets another one. But guys, we, we can just keep spamming our Scrap Dragon. We get to summon a Hakari. Not really a point to that, really. Sui so brings back the Lila. Scrap Dragon destroys the symbols. That brings out Desperado. We tribute the Hikari with a Chi face down, so that way we're protected if he somehow removes our Quintet. Somehow, some way, we still have that emergency face down monster, but uh, pretty sure we're gonna be okay. All these Desperado can't really find a way out of our deck. Here he mills a bunch more cards, Black Salvos and whatnot. We top deck a Chi. We only have three cards left in our deck, guys. But we still activate her effect all the same because we're mad lads. Now we get that Magicalized Fusion payoff that we risked so much for. That's a Quintet this time, guys. And now we still don't get a bust, but uh, we're swinging pretty. Only two cards left in our boy's deck also because he did get our plus one too. So it's a race. Here he's going for Lumina. Brings out his Raiden. But all he can really go into is a Fortune Lady Every, and that's a too little too late with only one card left. You'd have to banish two Quintets, and he doesn't have the cards to do it, guys. Great, great stuff. So this deck gets the Quintets super quick. They're not always bust in the field, but you're getting them out like crazy. Synchro plays are super easy. Scrap Dragon, Bryonic, and Coral Dragon, super straightforward, super aggressive monsters. I love them. I love Fortune Fairies. Sui is strong. Ina is strong. Hikari plus Mystic Piper, fantastic. Uh, Chi gets a little dicey because she's a brick and she gives your opponent a plus one, so she's a little iffy, but I'm running her. It's, it works out great. Lucky Stone's super easy to use. Fun deck, guys. If you can do it, run this deck. It's great stuff, and thanks for watching.